Captain Phillips, starring Tom Hanks. Trust me, it is not the film you thought it would be. If you're going in like me, thinking you're about to see Philadelphia Part 2, you are wrong. This is the first time I'm going to be doing a review with my family watching me. I'm kind of uncomfortable right now, because if you've seen this show before, you don't want to make jokes like this in front of your family. Captain Phillips is one of the best movies of the year, according to everybody else. Personally, it's not one of my favorites, but I can totally see why everyone else is really digging the film. It's dark, it's moody, it's really tension-filled, you know, it's really raw, realistic as ever. A truly powerful biopic, sure. Let's just start off with the one thing everybody seems to be in agreement on. That, of course, being... Thomas Hanks, a.k.a. Tom Hanks, who is best known for his portrayal of 16 different people in Cloud Atlas and The Polar Express, but who really launched the fame with The Da Vinci Code. Yep, these are all facts. Anyway, Tom Hanks plays the title character, Captain Phillips, and how is he in the role? Well, Tom Hanks, he fucking rocks it, man. I get uncomfortable to say the F word around my mom. Ever since his strong portrayal of Woody in Toy Story 3, I have been waiting for a performance to live up to that level, and this comes rather close. It's a little bit better. It starts off with Tom Hanks as this regular American Joe. You know, he's got a family, he's got kids, he's got a, a wife who's not looking like such good wife material anymore, you know. Then Captain Phillips has to do his job and transport cargo across some dangerous seas, where he soon realizes Somali pirates are coming after him. Can you imagine that for just a second? But just Somali pirates coming after you. Would you piss or shit? This is the kind of humor my mother taught me. Honestly, it wasn't until the very end of the film where I realized what everyone was talking about with Tom Hanks' performance. I mean, I'm not gonna, like, ruin the ending for you. Tom Hanks dies. Captain Phillips dies, then he, you know, lives in the afterlife, and then he writes this book, which this movie is based on. Okay, I'm not gonna say if he dies or not, but if you, if you know that the true story, it's not gonna ruin anything for you. Anyway, the whole time I was watching this film, I was like, why is Tom Hanks getting his, like, dick sucked by every movie critic out there? But by the end, it just hits you. It's not necessarily a film where it's like, you watch Captain Phillips start off as this, like, one guy, then by the end of the journey, he's like this completely different fella. The film is, like, about the traumatic impact it takes on Captain Phillips. Because let's face it, he had a pretty shitty day that day. And now he has to live with this horrible experience. I don't know why I'm laughing. Well, it's kind of funny. Somali pirates, come on. It's realistic, but it's subtle, and it's a powerful performance. Honestly, by the end, Tom Hanks had me tearing up. I was crying again. Kind of like when I saw the box office numbers for Larry Crown. <laughs> No one saw that movie. I just want to see a movie where Tom Hanks plays a captain with AIDS who is telling his story on a bench. So yes, to wrap it up, absolutely, Tom Hanks, he totally deserves the Oscar nomination. The other awesome player, Captain Somali. Not Salami. No. 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 I don't know the real actor's name, but I'm kind of okay with that. I'm glad they cast more of an unknown guy. It makes the villain that much easier to believe. And I just love the way the villain was like portrayed. Like Captain Somali is not like just a one-dimensional villain who's got only one thing on his mind. It's strange because they don't necessarily give him a lot of backstory, nor do they show too much of his lifestyle before the event. But for some reason, you actually get where this guy is coming from. I mean, you're not like rooting for the guy, but you are like, yes, Captain Somali, I want you to get your money. Just... I don't want you to kill white people. But yeah, Captain Somali, he's awesome. The interplay between him and Tom Hanks is great. This guy just looks and sounds like a real Somali pirate. I know this, because I know plenty of Somali pirates. His teeth, his skinny, lengthy body, the way he comes across, everything about him feels so authentic. And I feel like his performance is gonna be overlooked. Why does the world treat black people this way? This film has some solid directing from Paul Greengrass. Paul Greengrass. That could be the name of a weed. Anyway, Paul Greengrass is back doing his thing. You know, the ridiculous handheld shots, getting that documentary feel in there. And it's completely effective in this film, but I'm not gonna lie. In act one, I had difficulty getting into it. Yeah, it moves kind of slow, really establishing like tone and characters. But when like shit starts to hit the fan, that's when it gets really good. But I felt like it could have been 10 times more effective if it wasn't so apparent that Paul Greengrass was directing this. He's a great director. He really knows how to work with his actors. He, you know, probably pisses off his editor with all the coverage he gets. But Let's get real here. Let's get straight to the point here. He shoots like all his fucking films the same way. Born Supremacy. Born Ultimatum. United 93. Now this thing. I just had difficulty at first getting immersed in the experience. Because for a large chunk of it, I was like, yeah, Paul Greengrass is definitely directing this movie. It'd probably be more immersive if I smoked some Paul Greengrass before the movie. The directing, the cinematography, the editing is all great. I would just like Mr. Handheld documentary motherfucker to, you know, 
make a different type of film for a change. And you combine the talent with the clever script, you get one hell of a film. Anyway, it doesn't play out like how you think it would. It's, it's slow moving, but tension filled and thrilling. It's strongly emotionally driven. The plot turns that occur, they're fucking awesome. It takes place essentially in real time. And it's like the camera is just capturing the experience. It just keeps you wondering like, what's gonna happen next? Until you remember what the fucking trailer showed you. Last thing to mention, awesome fucking score. I'd have sex with Captain Robert Langdon with AIDS on that bench while listening to this score. Let me get straight to the point here. All in all, I gotta say, Captain Phillips got it super right. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my review for Captain Phillips. Why don't you go ahead, scroll that comment box below, and tell me... I don't know, did you like the movie? And if you want to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, you can click this button right here. You see, all you gotta do is click it. It's one click. Why are none of you clicking it? And if you want to see a more in-depth review of Captain Phillips, why don't you go ahead and check out my show called Reasons to See that I do with my buddy Jerry. I know, he needs to shave. And last but not least, if you want to get updated every time one of my reviews is out, go ahead and click on this button on my penis to subscribe. <laughs> That's right. Is this Captain Phillips ship? He ain't going down.